Hello, you're watching Dansky, and in this video we're going to get creative with typography, colour and blending modes in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start by selecting the type tool, click anywhere on the artboard and type some text. I'm going to type creative and then of course position this in the centre. Next I'm going to navigate over to the property inspector and change the font to Axis Extra Bold. You can use whichever font you like, again pop it back in the centre. And then once I'm happy with the font just delete all of the other characters and then go up to the main selection tool, hold Alt or Option and Shift, drag out to duplicate and then create all of these characters again as separate objects. Next I'm going to go to the swatches panel and I'm going to double click any swatch, check global and then pick a colour that I like. I'm then going to repeat this two more times so I have three swatches in total. I can then go through and apply these different swatches to different letters within my design. There we go, much more colourful. Now I can select everything, again go to the property inspector, go to opacity and select a blending mode. I'm going to start with multiply and take a moment to move all of these letters so that they overlap and you can see with the blending mode in play they blend into each other. Now once you've set this up and you're happy you can go back to the opacity panel and then you can change the blending mode and see different effects change in real time. Something else we can also do is adjust the opacity itself, but I think for this design I'm going to leave it at 100% with a multiply blending mode. You can also select everything, go to type and down to create outlines if you'd like Illustrator to render your lettering as shapes rather than live text. This can be useful if you'd like to snap certain anchor points to each other using the smart guides and I'm just going to take a moment here to adjust all of the lettering so that they line up with points of significance rather than just feeling too random. And to finish up, I'm just going to select everything, go to Object and Group. And we have the global swatches that we created in the swatches panel. And these enable me to change colour throughout the entire document from the swatches panel rather than having to do it all manually. And there we go, that wraps up the video. So if you did enjoy this one, feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe for more. Take care and I'll see you next time.